This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. It's time to write a poem for Natsuki! Alright, hopefully this one will be a little bit easier. Giggle! Pout! Nibble! Uh... Playground! Do all the childish words. Uh, let's see. This one will be a bit... Tr this one is a bit tricky. I guess out of these I'd probably say games? Yeah! Skirt! Poof! Uh... Loud. Darn it! It's Sayori. Sayori, stop interrupting this. Alright, Papa! Sugar! Mouse! Uh, cute! Hair. <laughs> Cheeks! Um... Kiss. Kitty! Would anger be Natsuki? Nightgown, maybe? Yeah, nightgown. Giggle. Fever, maybe? Darn it, Sayori! How many times will this take? Pink! Hop! Giggle! Kiss! Anger is Natsuki, good. Kitty! Puppy! Flying! Darn it, Sayori! Giggle. Doki Doki! Um, out of these, twirl? Yeah, pink. Cool. Chocolate. Puppy. Boop. Parfait. Jumpy? Yay, good. Uh, let's see. Out of these, headphones, maybe? Yeah, cool. Papa. Kiss. Pout. Vanilla. Hop. Playground. I know that one was right. Marshmallow. Strawberry. Cute. Alright, last one. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm not even taking a risk with this one. Half of these seem like... Most of these seem like they could be Sayori words, so... I'm leaning towards silly, but you know what? That could be Sayori, and I'm... I'm this is the last word. Good thing I didn't pick that, because that is not an Atsuki word. Iris fun. Is it shiny? Yeah, okay, shiny is the last one. Alright. There we go, perfect Natsuki. Needed to consult the guide, though. But you know what? The guide can be misleading at times, so that's why we needed to do it. And there you go. Hi again, Artie. Hi, Monica. Alright. Now we go and hang out with Natsuki. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Uh, you looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot! What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. <laughs> did you get I love manga tattooed to your forehead? What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's the face tattoo. I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst the stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull out the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga, and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. 
can't get a closer look at the box set that she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. There is no in-between. If you're gonna judge, you can do it for the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. I didn't say anything, so you can't say that. But I'll tell you one thing, Artie. Consider this a lesson straight from the Literature Club. Don't judge a book by its cover. That's literally why book covers exist, so you can judge them. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there. Blah! Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Maybe Natsuki is back pain too, but it's just more aware of it. I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Ah, why is that? Oh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Don't just say that! You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. It's just not a particularly good thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It just looks like a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be plot? Well, obviously! You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? <laughs> like, oh, no, I was about to say something mean there. I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. Sounds familiar. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like, when they all get into their backstories, and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Oh, is that so? Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Perhaps I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Ah! That's what he gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. <laughs> Good save. Ah, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Natsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... just a coincidence! I just happened to get into baking around the time I got this manga. Like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. Ha ha ha! Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. True! <laughs> not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh uh, yeah, this, this CG's a little weird. She looks, like, so young in this CG. We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple of chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um... That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Oh... Sorry. Your friends don't know you read manga. Don't worry, I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll teach them! Jeez. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. 
I can't even bring it up with them, out them all being like, Nah, you still haven't grown out of that yet. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Plus their weird voice. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are, are, are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I just gravitated toward the other losers over time. It's probably harder for someone like you, though. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Your dad would probably read it, too. He's actually secretly super into manga as well. You're just both keeping it a secret from each other. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. <laughs> here I am the solution to your problems, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? She's like, no, not really. Leaves. So? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. Ha ha ha! I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori's my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. Oh, I'm still giving her the bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when you're connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that for Tanatsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone! Duh! Are you all ready for with today's poems? Nope! Jumps out the window. Oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? Nope! Sorry! I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. Ha <laughs> eh? ah ha! Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She's literally in my lap. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it toward Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Huh? Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I didn't really plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow? Bro, I could barely even read Frog and Toad, and you're asking me to read a, an entire manga volume before tomorrow? I only got partway through that volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what'll happen if I don't finish it? That. Alright then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff in, carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yes! I did. You don't need to keep asking me. Alright. Hey, Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair I shared mine with her first. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Natsuki rereads my poem. There's one Se oh, wait, no, there's not a Sayori word. I literally made a perfect poem for her. Uh, never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Huh? Then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this poem when I could have been doing other things, like watching all uh, all the episodes of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Ugh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Ugh. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. She can't even be nice when she's being nice. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? That's how his retort gets caught in her throat. Ugh! You're so... You just... You... You don't understand anything, do you? 
I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Um, pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Ugh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, seen it. Yeah, I told you you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Yeah, skip. All right. All right, Sayori. Let's, let's see you next. This is a good poem, Artie. Are you sure it's your first time? Of, of course. It's not that good. Wow, Sayori apparently just hates Yuri's writing style. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? Heh <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm just really happy that you wrote one. Cool. Thanks, Sayori. Here, Monica. Hi, Artie. Hmm, I like it, Artie. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Just like yours truly. Ha ha ha. Aw, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something that Suki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. Ha <laughs> ha. If you say so. Yup. There are lots of poems or stories out there that are no more than a few simple words. They can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy they might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'll end up trying different things for sh faux shizzle. Alright, Yuri. She's gonna be real mad. She's like, you did my root, and then you wrote this drivel. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! S sorry! I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Oh, wait, is this all just the same? I thought you would have special dialogue for it being a Natsuki poem. Never mind. All right, now they have their argument, and this time we side in with Natsuki. Which goes against my moral code, but we're doing it anyways. Um, Yuri, you're really talented. Huh? Well, but Natsuki has a point. I think that... I rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings of few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah! It did, didn't it? Haha! <laughs> Shows how much you know. Th that's not... Natsuki. I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me. Natsuki's voice whines. Look. What we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing. And sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something that gets pretty he pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vigorously. Yeah, so... You don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Uh... Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that barely audible. Oh, thanks for noticing. Yuri? Hmm? Yuri looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said. So you don't need to feel threatened, Diver. Well, if you say so. Hey! It's not like you need to apologize for me, Artie. You're right, apologize. Sheesh! Natsuki takes a breath. I... The thing about... Uh... Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. Sayori and Monica look away. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, the thing about your boobs. I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri! Sayori! I'll go make some tea. Huh? I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. 
Well, now that we're past that, everyone read, e read each other's poems, right? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone. Especially you, Artie. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing around we got a little too used to. Ha ha ha! Ah, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, not at all, not at all! There's still time before we go home, so we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature-related things in the club room. So maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Huh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun! Haha, <laughs> of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. Hehe. <laughs> in the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Oh, that's a nice scene. Actually, siding with Natsuki in the argument goes better than I expected.